Hey guys, welcome to another update on the electric jet kayak project. So recently I got my hands on a new electric speed controller that supports a higher voltage and current and um, thus now giving me um, a software limited for legal reasons um, 11,000 watt aka 15 horsepower to play with and um, I rigged up some some wires, some XT90 connectors, some bullet connectors for the motor and some auxiliary electrical stuff for like the pumps and uh, the BEC, the servo and so on. And um, I might have been a little bit too hyped to try out this uh, new electric speed controller so I did not uh, think about the fact that I still had uh, like the first experimental impeller in, uh, in the pump that has very low infill and um, it's also yeah not, not the most optimized shape so uh, uh, that resulted in a funny fail where after like a few seconds um, the when when I accelerated uh, quickly, the impeller um, uh, just exploded. Basically, um, yeah, it completely ripped the uh, the infill apart. So I had to <laughs> I had to uh, pedal back, but I didn't want to give up right away on the project. Instead, I reprinted the impeller, but this time I uh, tried the two-bladed version with a lot more infill and um, I also um, ground down the outside diameter a little bit more so that um, it cannot contact uh, with, the, uh, with the pump housing uh, which seemed to be an issue with the old impeller which is probably the reason it like exploded so spectacularly and um, yeah, and also put some new ceramic bearings in um, in the pump um, that run a lot more smoothly and also obviously don't rust. So, so after some other minor changes, uh, the boat was ready for another test, and um, this time I was apparently a lot more lucky because everything um, seems to work okay at least it doesn't explode um, yeah so I'm already happy happy but of course in the future there are a lot of things uh, that can be addressed a lot of smaller and bigger issues like the biggest issue that I have to solve is um, the motor slightly overheating um, so um, that I feel comfortable driving at higher speeds for longer without worrying about the motor and um, also some other stuff like maybe a windshield or something that the water from the um, from the bow wave doesn't splash uh, everywhere and um, yeah, 